safely stowed. Hamlet! Oh, Hamlet! What's that noise? Who calls on Hamlet? Here they come. My lord, what have you done with the dead body? <laughs> Compounded it with dust, where to tis kin. My lord, you must tell us where it is so that we may take it hence and bear it to the chapel. Do not believe it. Believe what, my lord? That I can keep your counsel and not mine own? Besides, to be demanded of a sponge? What replication should be made by the son of a king? Think you me for a sponge, my lord? Aye, that soaks up the king's countenance, his rewards, his authorities. But such officers do the king best service in the end. He keeps them like an ape in the corner of his jaw. First mouthed, but last to be swallowed. And when he needs what you have gleaned, it is but squeezing you. And sponge, you will be dry again. I understand you not, my lord. <laughs> Tis well. A knave's speech sleeps in a foolish ear. My lord, you must tell us where the body is and go with us to the king. The body is with the king, but the king is not with the body. <laughs> the king is a thing. A, a thing, my lord? Of nothing. Take me to him. Hide, fox, and all after! <laughs> Now, what has befallen? Where the dead body is bestowed, my lord, he will not tell us. But where is he? Without, my lord, guarded to know your pleasure. Bring him before us. Ho, Guildenstern, bring in, my lord. Now, Hamlet, where's Polonius? <laughs> At supper. At supper? Where? Not where she eats. Where she is eaten. There's a certain convocation of politic worms even at her. Your worm really is your only emperor for diet. We fat all creatures else to fat us. And we fat ourselves for maggots. Your fat king and your lean beggar are but variable service. Two dishes to one table. That's the end. Alas, alas. You may fish with a worm that hath eat of a king, and eat of the fish that hath fed on that worm. What dost thou mean by this? Nothing. But to show you how a king may go the course through the guts of a beggar. Where is Polonius? <laughs> In heaven, send thither to see. If your messenger find her not there, seek her in the other place yourself. <laughs> uh, 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 if you find her not within this month, you shall know, sir, in the stairs as you go up to the lobby. Go, seek her there. She will wait till you come. <laughs> <laughs> Hamlet, this deed for thine especial safety, which we do tender as we dearly grieve for that which thou hast done, must send thee hence with fiery quickness. Therefore, prepare yourself. The bark is ready, the wind at help, the associates tend, and everything is bent for England. For England! Aye, Hamlet! Good. So is it, if thou knewest our purposes. I see a cherub that sees them. We come for England. Goodbye, my mother. It's thy loving father, Hamlet. My mother. Man and woman as husband and wife, husband and wife as one flesh, and so my mother. Look! Go to England! Follow him at foot! Tempt him with speed aboard, I'll have him hence tonight! Make haste! And England, if my love thou holdst at aught, as my great power thereof may give thee sense, since yet thy cicatrice looks raw and red after the Danish sword, and thy free will pays homage to us. Thou mayest not coldly set our sovereign process, which imports at full, by letters conjuring to this effect, the present death of Hamlet. Do it, England! For like the hectic in my blood he rages, and thou must cure me. 
till I know tis done. How e'er my haps, my joys were ne'er begun. Uh, 